Away from Nigeria, the government of Kenya has banned Mashuja Day, otherwise known as Heroes Day celebrations, in all counties due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Interior Principal Secretary said that the public should watch the national celebration in Kiriaga County on live television. The event will take place at Wanguru Stadium in Mwea constituency. It said that the celebrations will not be held in other counties because cases of the disease are still being reported. Uh, they're stressing that the government wants to protect Kenyans and they've asked county commissioners to ensure that the ban is enforced. Well, joining us from Nairobi, Kenya is Dr. Lucky Mwange and he is a general practitioner. Joins us virtually. Thank you for joining us on the program. First, what is Mashuja Day um, and, and what does it mean to Kenyans? What are some of the containment measures that will be observed um, in the run-up to that day? Okay, uh, thank you for having me on your show. So, uh, Mashuja Day is, uh, okay, Mashuja is heroes in Swahili. So, it's a day where we honor our heroes. These are the independence heroes, the guys who fought for independence. It's on 20th of October. So, basically, that's what Mashuja Day is. It's like Independence Day, only that we are honoring the heroes. So, um, uh, as you've said, uh, we have, uh, we are not going to be celebrating this holiday all over the counties. Normally what we usually do is we have uh, the main event at the national stadium and we have the minor events at the counties. What you guys would have like uh, a national event and one at the state level. So uh, for this one, we're not going to be having uh, Mashujari celebrations in the state levels, what we call counties. And uh, the, the stadium uh, will be only hosting 2,000 individuals as opposed to full capacity for social dis distancing and all that. Mm -hmm. so, so, Dr. Mwange, in terms of, um, you know, this announcement, what are citizens' reaction? Are they disappointed or do they all think that this is in order? Oh, uh, oh uh, of course, everyone must be disappointed because uh, such a celebration uh, is a huge thing. One, uh, when the state visits your your hometown, uh, things usually happen, roads are, uh, every, everything is uh, streamlined at least to have this uh, event to be perfect. So things like businesses, we have the people who maybe would have been selling foodstuffs and all that. We also have the people who want to witness these celebrations firsthand. So all these people are disappointed, but uh, we choose to view the bigger picture in terms of there's no need of celebrating Mashujade then dying after that. We've seen it before where political rallies happen. Then the week later, the areas where these rallies were have the highest COVID infection rates. So uh, we are disappointed, but we understand it. It's in good faith. Finally, Dr. Mwange, equitable global access to vaccines. Uh, that was at the core, um, I mean, and the efforts, of course, to build back better from the pandemic was, you know, one of the core messages of the Kenyan president at the UN General Assembly. Um, what's the progress, especially efforts of getting more vaccines for Kenyans? Okay, um, uh, first of all, vaccinations in African countries. I, I, I think this is, uh, this is an issue that we all have, even in Nigeria. Um, one, there's the issue of the vaccines not being recognized. Then there is the issue of the patents, meaning we can't make the vaccines ourselves. So uh, when we speak about vaccine equity and getting the vaccines, we have to understand that most of it relies on diplomacy. We've seen our president going out and uh, meeting foreign leaders, and uh, this has actually bore fruit because uh, these foreign leaders actually give us the vaccines. The latest one, uh, which we saw, uh, we had uh, 400,000 doses of AstraZeneca from uh, the UK, which were being given. So regarding the vaccine uptake in Kenya, uh, I can say we are doing quite well because uh, we've had 3.6 million vaccines given so far, 800 of, 889 of them being uh, the total second doses. So this is an approximate uh, percentage of 32% of individuals who've actually gotten the first and the second doses. So apart from that, uh, we also have an online self-registration platform where you can actually register. You have the date of vaccination being given to you. 
And uh, it's, it's even gone to the point of uh, having the center of vaccination uh, being recorded on that portal. So I think uh, we're really trying, and uh, I hope we continue this way. All right. We always appreciate your time on the program. Thank you, Dr. Lucky Moange is a general practitioner joining us from Nairobi, Kenya. Thanks again. Thank you.